Hello everyone and welcome. Today I will be playing Agony Lords of Hell. This is a real-time strategy game in development. Uh, the developers are raising money through a Kickstarter campaign. I will leave a link in the description where you can go ahead and uh, support the development of this game uh, through the Kickstarter project. The link is in the description as I said and uh, I would strongly recommend you to do so especially if you are a real-time strategy fan because not many real-time strategy games are coming out uh, lately at least uh, uh, games of this size okay we will play a little bit I will show you more about the gameplay um, this is an alpha demo an alpha version uh, the gameplay basically it's a little a little introduction little campaign I will skip the first part and I will go straight to the base building part only the ability to maintain it is what differs real rulers from dead usurpers and we are not usurpers okay guys we skip the beginning and now I'm gonna have to free some slaves basically the slaves are the regular workers from, uh, I need those dickheads to rebuild our power or to quench my anger from the other strategy games so by freeing the slaves I will be able to build things to work bastards for the glory of King Nimrod for the glory of Queen Vadia. But where are we actually? This is the Island of Blades, a prison for demons that couldn't be leashed. A prison? What depravity must one indulge in to deserve a prison in hell? That's it, Daddy. I guess you already figured out why I chose this place. Never stop surprising me, my cruel queen. Okay, so that you understand, so that you have a better understanding. Uh, we have uh, Nimrod and Vadia, I think he mentioned it. Vadia is the queen of war, so she takes care of the war business. While Nimrod takes care of the building business. Where are my workers? My slaves, actually. As I said, the game is still in alpha, so maybe there are a few tiny bugs that may appear. But the idea on the game is nice. I mean,. A real-time strategy game of this scale you don't get so uh, so often all right let's get some workers maximum five we can have now let's build the capital the capital is basically the uh, place where Nimrod will uh, sit We will need to expand, we will need to increase our production of units, and so forth. We have a population limit, we have a demon's population limit. It's far from a dream palace, but it's certainly better than a foul cabin. And now for the production of units. The mosh pit. The resources are too low. We can pray to the capital 
and we will increase the production of uh, this blue resource. We will have to explore more of the map, but first let's finish the hellish expansion set of uh, quests. And then we will uh, see what we do from there. This is where you learn to fight useless fools. We'd better start reinforcing our position and creating an army. We don't know what awaits us here. And basically to create units, you will have, uh, you will need those slaves. So you turn the slaves into warriors. If Vadia dies, nothing happens. She will respawn at the capital. As I said guys, don't forget to check out the link in the description that will take you on the Kickstarter page of uh, the game where you can support the developers in their uh, process of uh, creating this uh, real-time strategy game. As I said, now not many great real-time strategy games are coming out lately. All right. We have our units. We need to search for more slaves to convert them. And so we will need to expand in this area. What am I seeing here? Even more shit for our army. Fuck! I can't do everything myself. Okay. Go out scouting without proper support. We can level up the uh, I'm working on it. Now come back to me. So the game requires oh, us. Lady. Thank you for saving us. We barely escaped. The game requires me to create ten more units. You shit eater! Do you think I came to your aid? Tell me what you know about this island, and maybe you will avoid torture. Oh, lady, I will tell you everything. The mayor has his base on the northeastern edge of the island. Locked himself behind a gate made of hardened basalt, 13 feet high, imbued with blood magic and tipped with razor sharp spikes. We were sent outside the walls to build fortifications around the seal. What fucking seals now? The mayor wants to free the mighty titan imprisoned in the middle of the island. To do this, he has to. Break four seals. Fortunately, we managed to escape. We waited until nightfall, and then... I don't give a fuck about your escape story. Take this carcass out of my sight. 
To work, you useless shit. Basalt gate and imprisoned titan. That's up like a cunt and a dick. I know how we can penetrate defenses of this fucking mayor. Alright, let's create more warriors since we have all those martyrs. Oh, they want me to create demonic units. Okay, things are getting more interesting now. But I need to build. I need to build a slave pen. I'm gonna do this behind here. Oh, and by the way, the slaves can heal the deer. And I think she leveled up. All around stat upgrade. Plus 50 health, plus 5 damage. Action ready melee oriented. Units effective, heavy damage buff. Brutality, okay. Mm. I don't really know what to choose. Let's go with brutality. I want a few more slaves then. Without slaves, we don't have anything, basically. Oh, I need more martyrs to suffer for my arising army. Mm -hmm. I can increase the population. Let's create another unit creation. Barracks, a demonic barracks. So we can cover all types of uh, units. So we must unlock all four seals and free Bekla. I will try. Let's begin building some houses. Both demonic and normal houses. Another slave pen is out of the question.
Interesting. I think we need to fight a little. And afterwards, um, I think I will be able to. Okay. So I need this uh, red thingy. I get the blue one from the capital. And by worshipping you increase your... Can we get more? I don't think so. No, that's the limit. Uh, there's a building that allows me to increase my production of, uh, of those resources. Let's explore a bit. The path is blocked. I guess I have to unlock this uh, seal. Create 10 demonic units. Okay. I will be back when I will have 10 demonic units created. Okay guys, the objective has been completed. We're capturing uh, the seal. And they should advance. Of course, we need a few more units. The first ch anyone could be a you. You look like you've spent an eternity friend zoned. Come here. Fucking mayor. Defend this fucking chapel at all costs. The battle begins. Dia has to stay uh, near the seal, otherwise it, it won't work. And at the sounding of the first. Okay, it looks like I will suffer an attack. Now, the thing is, I know the attack will... I mean, the attackers will come from here. And not only. 
but these two sides specifically. And if I just defend there, I should be safe. I need a few soldiers. I think Vadia has leveled up. Praise me can now heal allies. All around heavy damage buff. Fireball explosion rad use now is doubled. Let's go with the healing part. So what does the healing part do? It can heal my units. I should build another house. Survive the enemy attack. Great. There are more enemies. Will the court hall nice? And we must uh, begin our counter attack. This is some next level units. Let's take all our slaves. This is where I have to go. I have to destroy the enemy. I will prepare guys, I will develop my base a little more. Okay. I will create demons. Then I will attack the enemy. There's my first demon, the lesser cohort. I 
I have reached the maximum resources. Demon's population is rather high. Let's attack, right? Some of my units are getting trapped. Apparently my attack was successful. Under the sounding of the second angel. So a second seal has been uh Unlocked. We will go because there is there is a secret that will give us access to a stronger to some buildings that can help us produce more resources and therefore create more units. What are those shitheads guarding? Oh, Whatever it is, I need it. The Dia got killed. Anyway guys, I'm gonna stop here for now. Um, don't forget that uh, this game is work in progress and they are running a Kickstarter campaign in order to raise money to finish developing the game. And you can support them by following the link in the description and back them on, uh, on Kickstarter. And uh, I'm gonna stop here. Of course, there is uh, much more to, uh, to play in this uh, alpha demo and I encourage you to try it out
Thank you guys and many thanks to the creators of the game for sponsoring this video through the Catapult platform. As I said, link in the description to the Kickstarter campaign. Thank you. Bye.